Since my injury, I can't make new memories. Everything fades. If we talk for too long, I'll forget how we started. Next time I see you, I'm not gonna remember this conversation. What's the last thing that you do remember? My wife. That's sweet. Dying. Before you begin listening to this podcast, now that there are big spoilers for this movie, I'm going to say it again, there are big spoilers for this movie. If you haven't seen this movie, take a chance, go watch it before you listen to what we thought, and then come back and have fun. All right, let's get into it. Welcome to another edition of the Movie Club Podcast. Uh, this month, we'd like to welcome you to what I like to do throughout the years. What I do already when me and Shaquise watch movies uh, is basically trying to get him through the classics through sort of a theme, sort of a through way. And sometimes it leads us from the classics to the, the, uh, the, the current movies, uh, that are big out there right now. And this month is Christopher Nolan month. That's how we're going to start the new year. We're going to start the new year looking at one of, uh, our most prolific directors, uh, look at, uh, some of his, uh, some of his really like interesting movies or movies that like stand out from, the crowd or made him famous. Uh, and we decided to start it off with 2000s Memento Mori, or excuse me, Memento. And you said you wanted to start this off with. Why have you show me this movie? Why? What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> Is the real question. See, people, you don't know who I am. You see, <laughs> I have memory issues <laughs> in real life. <laughs> so Trey decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fuck with Shaquise, right? I'm going to show him this movie that's just a mirror reflection of his future to fuck with him. Is, I, that, is that what you decided? No, that is, is not that what, what I decided, decided at all. The, the people, you have, you have to say, you think that we do this for, for a joke, for, for, for the jabs and jives. It's not. He really is uh, <laughs> Guy Pierce in this movie because he, if you if you know Shaquise, if you look in his room, he has notes just all over the That's place. That's not true. <laughs> that is true. That is very true. You have notes all like if you look at your desk, you have sticky notes on your on your desk, and then you have sticky notes on your desktop because Windows 10 lets you do the sticky note thing of things that you want to rem- remember. You set yourself little alarms that just go off a little alarm went off while we watched this movie that's not my well one it is my fault <laughs> but it is because it is a reminder to do my time sheet and unfortunately i can't set it to be bi-weekly the calendar alarm isn't enough i have to have the actual reminder through like the iphone which is weird because you have an iphone i have an iphone you can only set it to be a specific day of the week like I you can choose monday through friday bi-weekly i cannot that's so strange Look, i'll pull it up well yeah. after I the mean, show yeah after the show yeah like, we should just say, say, right podcast. <laughs> let's, let's, let's look I, at your technical I, it just says friday and i have it set to it just says weekly or monthly so i have mm-hmm. it set to weekly unfortunately i always forget that it's set on the fridays that i don't get paid so i have to ignore it and then every other week, I have to actually remember did I do that or not. <laughs> Say my butt last week. So you were literally Guy Pierce in in this movie. That's just that's just it. I'm sorry, but it's true. You are Guy Pierce in Memento, and I'm going to use you. I'm going to use you, and I'm just going to look at you in the face when I say <laughs> this because then I'm going to enjoy fucking looking at your face as I do. And we can be best friends. We can be best friends, <laughs> and you won't even fucking know it. I okay. Let's let's stop beating around the bush. I love this movie. I did. I I love this movie. I and you know what? I'm gonna go off on a slight little tangent. Like we haven't had like this whole podcast hasn't been a tangent, but <laughs> <laughs> I I like this movie because it made me love one of our short films that we made. Mm-hmm. Because if if people if you don't know know about me, I'm kind of hypercritical about myself so much that it is to my detriment that I I think so much about what we've done or what we can do that sometimes I don't do nothing. Um. And sometimes I look at our, our short films and, you know, I, I do love everything that we've made so far, the good and the bad, and even the stuff that we haven't made uh, yet or didn't get to complete. And sometimes, though, I, I, I get hypercritical about it and it starts to sour me on the memory. Like, was that was that to the best of the ability? Was that even good? Was it even worth it? Did people even like it? 
you know, I start to get in my own head about these things. And this movie, as soon as like there, there's a, there, if you've ever seen Memento by Christopher Nolan, uh, you know that there are scenes that are in color and there are scenes that are in black and white. And it started making me think of uh, a short film we did that you can watch on youtube.com slash production 1200 called You Know What You Did. Look what you made me do. Shut up. Thank <laughs> you. God, I hate y'all. Um, <laughs> but there are there are similar scenes, that, and, and it kind of it kind of works not to not at all to the level that Christopher Nolan's put to this movie. Let me not let me not like let me not verbose myself that much. No, nah, we better than you know. Oh God, <laughs> don't, don't say that. He, I feel like Nolan got an ego, and I feel like he'll, he's not like <laughs> he's not like a uh, Uwe Boll where he'll box <laughs> you in the ring, but he'll probably he probably I'll get a mean tweet or something. Um, but no, I, it does like, it does play out a lot. Like Memento does a guy wakes up, um, and he's going, he sees visions of his life or, you know, he remember he has to kind of piece together what actually happens before he gets to some sort of salvation. Again, not as clever as it puts through here because this movie is in- extremely clever. Mm-hmm. This movie is extremely clever to, to play a movie to essentially we're watching a movie in reverse, in reverse the entire time. And I, watching this tells, shows me why Christopher Nolan is such the prolific director that he is. Why, like, where, who, who are you to direct Batman? And it's like, oh no, that, I get it now. (laughs) I completely completely get where, especially like thinking back to Batman Begins, like sometimes you look at a director's work before they made the work that you've made. And it's like how like Peter Jackson with like the Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. You look at Dead Alive, (laughs) the movie like that's pretty much an Evil Dead ripoff where a priest goes, "I kick ass for the Lord," and you wonder (laughs) how did this dude get to make? We must take the ring to Mordor, like you know, like how how? But this will know the way that like it's like the story is presented in Batman Begins. It definitely makes sense how, like you you definitely see Christopher Nolan's style in that. Um, and this, you, you see the style in this is, I love this movie. Yeah. One of, one of my favorite things about certain movies, uh, is this isn't even really like in media res. This is like in media post yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, is when, uh, movies don't start at the, or the story isn't starting from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And, it's it's sort of like putting together a puzzle, though in this case he just literally goes back in reverse. It still feels like you're putting together a puzzle the entire time. I love that. It was really fun. It was just really fun. I'm like, okay, so uh, he kills this. He kills this guy. Okay, this is the end. So what's gonna happen next? Or sorry, what, <laughs> what happened, happened before? before? Right. And so that's that's the entire movie. And then there's there's this really interesting plot of him talking on the phone to someone who he's explaining there's a whole nother story going on Mm -hmm. there's a whole other story going on that's even further in the past right (laughs) that we don't know is further in the past the whole time and then there's the cinematography to showcase that these are two the the two different timelines Mm -hmm. the 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 color the 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 grayscale it's nolan yeah that's really it's clever like it you is. said, it's really clever it's and it's clever very, ass, it's well put together. Like from story to cinematography, yeah, everything here is just like, it's just boom, 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 and you, and you don't even know like, I you you hear this like you hear this like movie done backwards and you think like well and it's, this is a two hour movie you wonder how long because you know how long is that interesting it's somehow it's more compelling than watching a movie forward. Like I kind of <laughs> want to watch all my movies backwards now. And I think that's something through like this, the storytelling or, or the writing of the script to where we don't really know what's going on. And then to like, from the very premise of the movie, you don't know like who to trust or, or what to trust because our main character are, are it, it is, it is the unreliable narrator. Probably one of my favorite, like, thieves in a in a in a movie i told you this when we talked about uh, uh fallen mm-hmm. like this this it's such a clever way to do things and i was gonna bring that up too and it is it's to where it tells you i have a memory problem <laughs> we're going through this movie through my memories 
You shouldn't believe what I'm saying. Yeah, you do because you're fucking being force fed this shit. Like you, you can't. <laughs> it's like when somebody somebody comes up and tells me, "Hi, my name's Dave." I'm not gonna believe that his name is actually John. Like it's, it's <laughs> name Dave to me. Like what am I supposed to do? I don't have all the information. When you do, it just it gets. I think the biggest moment to me in the film when I just like I was just like, "Dang, man," is when Trinity. Come out, <laughs> and that's, that's what she is to me. Let me get uh, yeah, her. I was wondering, like, that. I thought it was someone else. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. I think, I think I thought it was the girl from uh, Dread, but I knew it wasn't uh, because yeah, yeah, it was yeah. so far in the past. Mm-hmm. I'm like, she is someone that I have seen before. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> Carrie Ann Moss. Uh, the scene where she just like where I kind of parodied it in the beginning of this other uh, podcast that where she dirty. just uh yeah that was so dirty where she that just like dirty. tells him to his face calls him a uh 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 especially disabled many a time yeah and then like calls his wife a whore and then just like. And then she says, there's nothing you can do this because I know you're going to you. forget and I'm right. going to use you for my fucking ends, bro. And then the thing yeah. is, we seen it. <laughs> we saw her do it. Before. We see the results. It worked. And the thing is, she's not the only one. No, she's not. And it's... And, and the, 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 thing, the thing about this movie, the thing that, that really sticks for me is, yes, I actually do have a memory problem. Right? <laughs> so... I, I anticipate in my future that I just can't trust anything. <laughs> and I've already learned, thank you, Ted, to trust no one. <laughs> so I'm going to have a real hard time, right? This dude is so sure. And he's, he's so sure of who he is. Mm-hmm. He's so sure of the things that he does remember that he doesn't actually question them until the previous end of the movie. Sorry, that was confusing. The end of the movie, which is the very <laughs> beginning. <laughs> Time so, is but a construct. But the funny, the thing about that is in the beginning, either the opening scene or the second scene of the movie, mm-hmm. he's talking to someone about how unreliable memories are mm-hmm. and how... Um, yeah, he's talking to Teddy in the bar. He's like, uh, "You uh, memories can make you misremember the color of a car, or yeah, uh, make you think that you're uh, white or black. Like it's you know, stuff like that." Like, I just, I just deal with the facts, right? Which he doesn't even have, right? And the thing is, he destroyed them. Mm-hmm. He, he lied de- to well, some of the facts. He destroyed some of the facts. Mm-hmm. His goal was accomplished. He just doesn't remember. And mm-hmm. he didn't write it down. Yeah. It's gone. And the thing is, not even that. All throughout the movie, we're we're giving this story again over and over again. It's almost like we're meeting the character over and over again. Every single scene. And he's talking about Sammy Jenkins. Yep. Leading us to believe that this is a whole story of a whole different character. And you believe it. Again, I believed it. I did. And then it turns out it's Guy Pierce. It's him. It's again another facet of himself. So it's just like. And the thing is, there's little small things. So, like, they'll have, like, when he's, uh, you know, I'm going to just say, we don't really know what the truth is. Mm-hmm. Uh, when he's uh, fiddling with his wife's leg. Right. And the first time we saw that was so much farther in the past. Mm-hmm. Or in the past. Shit. I was, <laughs> was going to say it right the first time. Uh, and it, he he remembers it as he's pinching her. Mm-hmm. And then it turns out he's supposed, he's giving her an insulin shot. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Right, right, <laughs> right. I was like, what's what the, the truth? <laughs> like that. I've never bought. I've never bought so much into a movie before, where just like I just, I just want to know. I just want to know how this ends, or how I guess in this case begins. Like, like who, what really did happen? What what was the incident? Mm-hmm. What actually occurred? Did his wife actually? Did she? She survived the incident, but died from him overdosing her with insulin. Like, like, yeah, that's crazy. Apparently, that's what happened. That's so. That's oh, so. Man. That's is, so crazy. Like, and it and it's the presentation of everything that makes you believe it, even mm-hmm. when you know that you can't trust it. You still believe it anyway. Good job. Apparently, Nolan wrote the screenplay too. Yeah. So. Good job, Based Nolan. Based short sword by his brother. Got to give his brother some credit, Yo, too. yo, that's right. I, see, I forgot. 
I was like, who is Remember to give what was his Nolan's name, like, brother Danny Nolan? Jonathan, Jonathan Nolan. <laughs> I, I didn't just make up a name and just say it real confidently, did I? I didn't do that, you know? No, you didn't. You didn't, Dave. My name's not Dave. <laughs> She's like, I know this. Takes out wallet. Yeah, there we go. Uh, no, I, I have to say, also, before I forget, there's one good, like, really, because a lot of cine- cinematography is standard other than, like, what we talked about with, like, the difference of shots and some of the grayscale. Like, really good use of color here. Um, and a lot of good inserts uh, to help facilitate this story. But there's one moment where he's there with like when he just choked the life out of Jimmy and he takes that picture of him and we're still, we've been in black and white this entire time. And then he takes the picture and he does like the little, like the shake that you have to do with mm-hmm. cut pictures. And I feel like the, the, I have to go back and look, but I think the, the screen fades from black and white to color, almost like a picture's being developed, like you, you like a picture just developed and you're shaking it. And I thought that was really cool. If that happened, I don't remember it. If that happened, well done. White. Like, that's... It's so good. Like, it's just, it's so, it's so good. This movie's so clever. Put some respect on Christopher Nolan's name, man. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't gonna, y'all gonna stop talking shit about my man Christopher Nolan. He is, he is, he is the, <laughs> our, the greatest filmmaker of our generation. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear nothing else. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's you. That's me. That's us. That's P twelve. No. <laughs> Damn. You ain't even gonna. You ain't even gonna set yourself up for the future. No. Damn. No. Until until I make that work. That's just like, boom. Oops. There it is. Uh. No. I would like I said before though. I, I do. I do truly think it gave me appreciation for a great ap- appreciation for you know what you did because look what you made me do. It did. It, I I feel like. It was a very clever idea mm-hmm. that just like represented itself as, as not as, as not as basic as every other short film that's being made, mm-hmm. right? And I didn't think I had that within me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I didn't think I had that. Like I felt I felt like I was the creator of uh, I was the short film uh, student who was making all the. Waking up, looking at your alarm films. You know what I mean? That's that's what I felt like every short film that we've done has has been in my eyes. Because again, I I keep looking back at it and it keeps souring in my mind. It's like, what have you actually done? And I look at this movie and I'm thinking, and it, when I saw the black and white mixed with like the the black and white into the color, and I was it just it just reminded me of that. And I was like, yo, this is you're on your way. Make more crazy stuff. Don't be afraid to go further. If you have an idea, keep going with it. And, uh, you know, let this be like little, like uh, like a little words to you as well out there if you're, you know, out there pursuing anything, honestly. Don't be a Trey. Be a Shaquise. Forget that you hate yourself. And then go out there and make your memento. One, don't be a Shaquise. I remember that I hate myself every day. But do everything else he said. Two... The music in here is oh, okay. actually really, it's also, it's done in the same way. So just to reinforce everything that's happening, we're introduced to these, uh, these, these, uh, these strings. They play the same real simple, uh, chord progression the entire time. Mm-hmm. And then there's one, uh, other piece where we just have, uh, a piano with, a a com- a constant note. And it's just that is pretty much the score for mm-hmm. the most part of this movie, and it just keeps coming in, uh, scene after scene whenever it shows up. It's real, it's real nice, real repetitious, indeed. And it's 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 nice sounding, and it's like it's right, it's it's uneasy and it's familiar because you hear it constantly. So like it just doubles up on everything that's going on. It's very well done, very okay. well crafted. Okay, I didn't notice that actually. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. There may be a third piece in there, but I I might have forgotten what it sounded like the first time and thought it was something different. But I think it's the same piece every time. Memento Mori. Um, I want to give this an A. Okay. I feel like it's already to, to be expected. Of course. Yeah, yeah. This is an A plus actually. Like I can't tell Christopher Nolan on nothing on this one. Like I just, I'm gonna be interested to see whether he keeps up this like this this momentum Mori, um, or <laughs> if he loses it. As we go along, because again, people, this is Christopher Nolan month. We go we, all month. We you your movie clubs will be 
centered around Mr. Nolan's work, excluding the Batman trilogy. Although, I'll get there when we get there. Um. Anyway, the month is only four weeks long, Trey. I'll get there <laughs> when I get there. <laughs> I will decide then, sir. <laughs> Sorry, he'll forget. You've already lost a week, Trey. He'll forget. I will. Oh shit. Anyway, that don't think about these things during a podcast, Trey. <laughs> Now you know what we thought. Well, let's see what the people back then thought. This movie had a budget of four point five million. First off, That's... out out here being Blumhouse before Blumhouse existed. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like that's kind of high, right? I didn't really feel like that was a big. This was a big budget movie. Well, or well, not really big budget, but I didn't expect a four point. I mean, I mean that's probably crumbs. Multiple now. locations. The the names that we got here, who you know could or could not yeah. be big. Yeah. Plus, this is uh, uh, Teddy, the guy that plays the cop. Uh-huh. I think this is like a year after Bad Boys. Because he plays the he police chief the off of Bad Boys. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. I didn't even recognize yeah, him. Yeah, man. I didn't even fucking recognize him. Respect on you, dude. You did great. Both uh, of these movies. Say, so, we, so we get him some actual respect. Joe, Joe Pantoliano. Damn, that is familiar. Joe, you did great, man. Joe did great. The But the box office on this thing... Thirty nine point nine million. You know, quite quite a few times on this show, we have, of course, looked over the box office and budgets, and you people have let me down. <laughs> you did good. You did Y'all, good. You do well. <laughs> you do well. This is uh, this deserved. Yeah, it's, it's deserved. Absolutely deserved especially for, like i want to see like what because uh, this is this is early christopher nolan but this is like early famous god christopher, like, christopher nolan looks nolan. weird yeah um not the cinematic style of christopher nolan although you definitely i think we're, we're gonna see a lot of the similar kind of timey-wimey type styles with the with the movies when we go through the rest of these uh with the rest of these films christopher mm-hmm. nolan has a way of messing with reality and a lot of his movies are like that. Uh, aside from the Batman films, which Batman I think are the most Batman. different from his like actual style. Still feels within his style, mm-hmm. but different. Like The only one that feels like actually within his style is Batman Begins, mostly because it tells a story out of order. Like We get mm-hmm. Bruce Wayne's origin sort of piecemeal throughout. Um, following was his first movie, at least uh, as listed here. Um... So this is his first, like, is like really is a, depending on you know how how following did six thousand dollar budget. It plus. It did plus. <laughs> uh, this is his like first big six thousand big movie. Like yeah, this is, yeah, this is his first a, big budget movie. That was it, a oof. much bigger budget than six K. Dealing with actors and things like that. No, this is this is the beginning of Christopher. No, this is his begins. Christopher Nolan begins yeah that's man i want to make stuff we're going to we're going to yeah this has been the movie club podcast please comment down below in the comments your thoughts on this movie tell us what you think let us know what you think uh, who knows might put some in the, in the th- i don't know how it's just do the thing talk to us go to the facebooks we got facebooks uh, Cut that out. Um, <laughs> face. I think someone's been trying to get me to kill the wrong guy. You can question everything. You can never know anything for sure. Teddy, don't believe his lies. You wander around playing detective. Well, maybe you should start investigating yourself. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Make sure that you check out uh, the other shows that we have on the Facebook, the other main podcast that comes out every other Tuesday. Make sure you leave a like, share it with your friends and your family. Go check out our YouTube where we have content from other production 1200 works and make sure you follow us on the Instagram. We post sometimes there. We'll, we'll do more. We'll, we'll try. Maybe. Like us on uh, iTunes podcast, rate and review. Give us them five stars. And we'll see you next time.